Let's talk today about one versus one defending skill by considering all of its technical and tactical aspects. First thing you need to remember as the defender is to always keep your eyes on the ball. An attacker will always follow the ball, so you need to concentrate just on the ball, not on the attacker. Slightly bend your knees and lower your upper body. This stance will enable you to maintain your agility level by being able to quickly change the direction. Keep your feet tight and close together. Again, this will help you to be essentially more agile. Ok, these three considerations are normally done automatically by each player and represent the technical aspects of the 1 vs 1 defending standard. Let's now consider the more demanding tactical qualities of the skill. Keep moving backward in accordance with attacker's speed using sideways positioning. The goal is to decrease the distance between you and an attacker by gradually slowing him down. Always protect the middle area and try to push an attacker toward the sideline. Shooting from the middle area is essentially more dangerous than shooting from one of the outside channels. Ok, now that we know the necessary aspects of the skill, let's take a look at some real-life examples of defending against Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldinho and Kylian Mbappe. In the first example you can see that Cristiano Ronaldo challenges Vincent Company in a 1 vs 1 situation. Here Company forgets to protect the middle area and Cristiano shifts to the right hand side to make a dangerous shot on target. In the second example you can see that Ronaldo rushes forward and at some point the defender forgets to maintain the necessary backward momentum and attacks Ronaldo too early when the distance between them is very large. This allows Ronaldo to simply run past him. In a very similar manner, Ronaldinho challenges Sergio Ramos during one of their Clásico games. Again, even though Ramos was moving backward, his speed wasn't enough to counteract Ronaldinho's fast running. Let's finally take a look at a good example of defending. Here Van Dijk notes that Mbappe is a very fast player, so he keeps on falling backward at an appropriate speed. His positioning and body language also demonstrates that there is no way for Kylian to move in the middle area. He gradually reduces the distance to Mbappe until he finds a good moment for tackling. An excellent example of defending. Ok, that's it for 1 vs 1 defending. Let's now go out and try to apply this theoretical knowledge in practice.